this domain right here, goodluckspell.com, I started this website, a brand new domain, uh, about three or four months ago. It started, of course, with DR0. So the reason why it increased to DR35, it's because of this single bad link right here, uh, which is this astrology in the Bible, starcross.info. Because when you take a look at this domain right here, this is an expired domain, starcross.info, which has uh, the DR35 as well. This expired domain, I purchased it using uh, Spamzilla. So this is how uh, we filter on how to get an expired domain uh, for a, an affordable price of, you know, $10 or less. What you need to do, if you want to do this yourself, here in Spamzilla filter, uh, first you just need to deselect all this country DLD, TLDS. And in Ahrep, if you are using um, Ahrep to check the domain profile, so keep this as one. So that's the only filter we can put there. We don't want to lose any opportunity of what, you know, some, some people will just take a look at the DR starting 10. So just it, set it to one. And here, Spamzilla score, which is really a good feature of Spamzilla to check whether the domain is spammy or not. But for me, I wanted to uh, check that manually. So I keep it black as well, which I'm going to show you why. Here in the Domain source, just keep expired domain as tick and tick these two. And in marketplace, select, deselect all and just select GoDaddy closeouts. Okay, because we have lots of opportunity we can find here in GoDaddy closeouts. Now, in the site language and arc anchor language, just keep them English. Okay, so that's it. That's the only filter I use to find these uh, really good domains and then you apply filter. But, so what happens is we added here in the home page an anchor link going to uh, this website itself, okay? So that's the reason why all the juice of this DR35 expired domain, which is this starcross.info, got passed to this domain, which is, you know, goodluckspell.com. Here, as you can see, some indication of a quality of backlinks. As you can see right here, Google considers links that are located in the content of a web page to be much more relevant than links in the footer or sidebar. So that means since we added here, in the content because you know we are controlling this domain so we uh have the leverage to add whichever you know area in the website we can add so as you can see here i added this home page right here so when we added when we edit that so it, it scroll down right here so i added this link which is a do follow link you don't have to do to put any attributes to the link if it's a do follow because if you see right here, there are some, I'll give you an example, this domain rating 69, if you go here, and if you open, this is the advertisement that I put on to have launch when I launch this site. Even if it's having this link, if you see the attributes right here, you go in spec, you can see here, it has this, you know, uh, attribute called REL and it has no follow. That means uh, even if this domain, docanto.com, has domain rating 69, no domain power will be passed across this uh, goodluckspell.com. So this uh, 35 uh, domain rating uh, were uh, you know, acquired only from this website alone because this is the only uh, website that has uh, you know, do follow attributes, okay? This one right here that we purchased using uh, Spamzilla, all right? So yeah, I know in this uh, you know time, it's not recommended to build your uh, PBN. So because this is more likely a PBN, and uh, isn't the Google uh, you know constantly releasing updates to tackle uh, spam sites? But if you build your site correctly, uh, you know not to manipulate the search engine exactly. Uh, we rebuild it not because we just want to add links so that we can create backlinks to another website. So as you can see right here, we have added, you know, good number of articles. That's why Google considered this one as a, you know, legit website. Even if it's an expired domain, it's not being, uh, you know, recovered just because it will be used as PBN. So it is rebuilt to be, you know, an actual website. As you can see, we have articles right here and we have the uh, uh, article as well in the homepage itself. And we added it directly, the link going to our website so that it passed all the domain power of the Starcross info to our, you know, for example, you have a main website. In my case, this one. So it started with DR0 and now DR35 because of that domain. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I'm not recommending to, you know, do this, but if you want to do some case study yourself, if you want to do some experiment, uh, you can proceed on that one. You can proceed doing this. So yeah, I put the guide on how you can uh, 
acquire an expired domain without spending too much money, okay, using Spamzilla. And you have to rebuild the site correctly, uh, the way I showed you. You have to put some decent number of articles, okay. So I think that's about it, guys. And uh, yeah, so that's all I wanted to share with you. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.